Good morning. It is Thursday morning and uh, it is 10 o'clock. Uh, the CEO um, of the Berry Food Bank is there to 11, so it'll take us about half an hour to get up there. Um, but I got the check all written out and it is for $650. Uh, and that is going straight to the food bank. So uh, thank you to every single person that uh, came by the live stream last Saturday uh, to help donate. We raised 1200 just under 1200 but I've rounded it up to $1,200. Uh, $650 is going to the food bank. I was originally only going to give them five, but because of your generosity, we upped it to 650 which leaves us 550 left, which is going to go towards the Tickle Toad to buy lunches for the frontline workers. Uh, if the frontline workers, let's say only like 15 people get the lunches and it only comes out to $350, then $200 is going to go back to the Berry Food Bank uh, or we'll find another cause or something. So that's how the money is all being divvied up. Divvied up. So uh, yeah, let's head up to Berry and uh, give the food bank some money and feed some people. Cool? Let's go. <laughs> made it to the berry food bank it's gonna go in there hand the check over take a picture post it on the social media and uh, then we're out of here let's do it definitely have to put the mask on 100% my uh, coffee is super hot still which is great I use the uh, the Yeti and it is uh, awesome thermos or uh, insulated cup and it keeps your coffee super hot all right, let's go in there and hand the check over. All right, all done. That felt good. They appreciate the, the money from uh, all the people that donated. I told them I will try and do it again, maybe uh, around maybe Easter. If you guys think we should do it earlier, let me know in the comments below if you want to do this more often uh, or at those specific times of the year, Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, Easter, maybe sometime in the summertime, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I'd like to know from you guys what you guys think, what you guys want, what you think we all can do together to uh, help people in need. Again, I love... Um, helping out the food bank here in Barrie. It's a lot of fun uh, knowing that the food's going to people that can't feed themselves. Uh, they're not taking any food donations uh, at all. They do have a lot of food in there, but they're trying to only accept money donations. So once again, if you're interested in uh, giving Barry Food Bank some money, uh, the link will be in the description of this video, uh, or you can just look it up online. The Barry Food Bank, uh, I think it's like Barry Food Bank Dot org. Uh, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll definitely put the link in there if you want to directly um, give them money. So I, I think we're gonna, I'm just gonna cruise around Barry because I, I think I need to do some type of a food review because it's Thursday. I want to do the re food review today. If I can put it up to that, would be even better. But uh, Paul and I are gonna go and do the 99 steps through the, um, there's a valley uh, near Paul, and they call it the 99 steps because there's 99 steps going down into a valley. And uh, hockey players used to train there. And uh, I'm not sure what hockey players train there, but whether local or NHL, I don't know. All right, I gotta put my seatbelt on and uh, let's go find something to eat. Just finished shooting a video at Red Lobster. Uh, this was totally unexpected. Um, again, I just finished doing the food bank and then I drove up and down uh, Bayfield, which is one of the busiest streets in Barrie. It's just loaded with restaurants and stores, gas stations, a mall, just pretty much anything and everything you need on this one street. It's a very, very busy street. And uh, so I went all the way to one end. I was almost, almost did like a food truck, but they were closed. And then I came back this way. I was gonna go to uh, Applebee's 
and sitting at the Applebee's parking lot is right across the street is the Red Lobster. And so I, I uh, talked to Carol before I, and I'm like, I don't know what I should do. I should do, I do an Applebee's or a Red Lobster. She's like, well, you haven't been to Red Lobster in a while. And I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna do Red Lobster. And then I looked on the menu and they had, um, uh, lobster tacos and I've never had lobster tacos before and I thought that would do really well on my channel get a lot of views and make a lot of people hungry which is what I that's my job making people hungry and uh, so I went in there and she's like we don't have it and it's just like like I did my whole opener walked in like the whole video is good to go until I found out they took that off the menu which is unfortunate uh, actually it's not unfortunate in the situation that because they have a limited menu, I was forced to try other things. And on their menu, they had a brand new item. Uh, it was called the Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich, and it was pretty good. Uh, I totally recommend that if you guys are interested. The other thing too is uh, apparently Monday, they are going to be possibly going into uh, Red Zone, uh, Barry and um, Muskoka, area is just going to go into like lockdown kind of uh, for restaurants so no more dining in the restaurant so if you really love um red lobster you live in the berry area and you like to sit in the restaurant and eat your meal you have to do it either today which is thursday friday saturday or sunday because monday uh you won't be able to but you can still order food online and they'll deliver it to your house another thing i like to recommend to everybody and a lot of other people are recommending this uh, if you can do curbside, uh, the, the restaurants make more money uh, if you go pick it up yourself. So if you, you have the, the gas and you have the time, you know, order it online and they'll tell you when to come and pick it up and then go and pick it up. Uh, you know, all these services that deliver it to you, unless they, unless they offer their own free delivery, if they order, if they have their own free delivery, use their free delivery, tip the driver heavily, and uh, we'll keep all these businesses uh, in, in check, or at least keep them surviving. Anyway, had a great meal, and again, uh, they they were a bit late giving me my food, and their wine, they were a bit late. I think she said, oh, it'll be right out. And then like, I don't know, 10 minutes later, uh, she came out with the bag and she's like, I'm so sorry it took longer. So we gave you a couple extra biscuits, a bottle of Coke and uh, vanilla, vanilla bean cheesecake. And guys, if you've ever been to Red Lobster and you saw that vanilla bean cheesecake on the dessert menu and you ordered other things, the vanilla bean cheesecake is like, like in my head, it's, I, I have a head rush right now because it was so good and decadent and uh, I loved every single bite of that uh, cheesecake. So next time you're at Red Lobster, try it. And uh, I'm, if you like cheesecake, you'll love this. It just, it was like eating heaven. It was so good. All right, so we gotta get home, uh, get all this stuff out of the car, clean up. I uh, start uploading stuff to the computer and then we're driving down to meet up with Paul and we're going to be going and doing the 99 steps and trying to work off all this food I just ate, which is probably well over 2000 calories, uh, the amount of food I ate for sure, over two grand. Yeah, so I gotta do, haven't eaten anything all day today, so that's my dinner, that's my, my food for the whole day. All right, let's go see Paul. All right made it to the 99 steps there's Paulo limited parking green belt route hey Paul hello. say hello hello so yeah, I don't remember this being here last year although yeah. I think it was well there was definitely that sign the Thorn Thornton Bales has always been there was, yes but as how new does that look Oh, Somebody's got a little beverage going. Ooh. You know, it looks pretty new. It does look new. Yeah, like the sign Although doesn't look like it. Someone put something on there. And Although, yeah. yeah, there's no... Uh... Is that actually part of this trail? No. We want to hike that today? <laughs> or maybe it is. Because it, it looks. It's a long trail. It'll take the rest of my life. Yeah, it'll take a long time. All right. Jeez. Let's boogie. Yeah, that's definitely new. That's a new build. Look at the, the shakes on top of that. Yeah. Started my watch. Been walking three hours. Just kidding. <laughs> Only 40 seconds. But uh, this is 
the steps. This is all new. There's no yeah. Stuff. I've never seen they, they've added these railings. Before there was no railings. And this is the 99 steps. We've counted them. Maybe they've changed. Paul forgot his boot, his spikes. I remember my, my micro spikes. Paul forgot his. So we have to videotape him every time he's going downhill. Just in case we get that fall from Paul. But people run up and down this for super yeah, exercise. That's last year we were going this way. Yeah. And that part was closed. This is a little bit safer on the steps with the railings. It was kind of fun without the railings. <laughs> I wonder if they keep it open because now there's... So we discovered, uh, we we'll probably just give one to Paul. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Paul's got one, I've got one. It's on, oh, it's on right. What? That's supposed to be right at the very front, isn't it? If what a difference in go. the in the grip. Oh yeah. It's like just oh. There you go. At least you'll have one foot. Yeah, you can, we can ski with one. Yeah. You just have to remember which foot has the spikes on it, so you just in case you need that last. This battery is going to die on this camera real soon. See, so. I wish we had these that time when we went up uh, Mount. Yeah, Phelps. the first time. Yeah. All those falls. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't fun at all. <laughs> We are now 49 minutes, almost 50 minutes, into our hike. We get to see a really cool thing. Well, my other camera died. Now I'm using my cell phone on, on wide angle. And uh, this is a great backup camera for sure. Again, splitting up our spikes was a great idea. That would have fallen. For sure, yeah. Definitely helps with one foot being able to grip. With the temperature that's dropped right now, now it's it's packing in. Where before right, it was yeah. slushy and slippery, now it's like it's biting. Yeah, what he said. Stairs to end off your hike. Crazy. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Well, made it back to the car. Look at that beautiful sunset behind us, Paul. What'd you think of the? It was, it was like, awesome. It was a good uh, walk. Yeah. What? Uh, what's our watch say? Oh shoot! I didn't turn it off. <laughs> So we did 77 minutes, almost 78 minutes, almost 400 calories. That's, uh, I don't know, I'll have to shut that off. So today- So I did 10,565 steps. Yeah, cause you're at the Tickle Toad. Uh, I was sitting in my car most of the day. So I only did 8,300 steps, uh, which is still a pretty good 61 day. 61 flights of stairs. Nice. And 7.41 kilometers. So you're going up and down today at the Tickle Toad. I always do. Yeah. All that stuff's in the basement. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. See you later, Paul.